Hello everyone, my name is Nelson T. Acosta from Bit2i and my topic is about Clarity of Learning Targets. Clarity of Learning Targets, it involves specifying clear learning objectives which involve showing what you know and how your performance will be judged. So, sabi dito, ang Clarity of Learning Targets, ito ay malinaw na objectives na nagpapakita kung ano ang nalalaman at kung ano ang kakayahan at kung paano ito huhusgahan base sa isang pamantayan o rubrics. The Clarity of Learning Targets have five categories. Number one, Knowledge and Simple Understanding. Sa Knowledge and Simple Understanding, nakapailalim dito ang mastery. Ang mastery ay isang level na kung saan alam mo na at meron kang certain knowledge about sa topic na yon or subject matter. Number two, Deep Understanding and Reasoning na kung saan gumagamit ito ng tatlong stages of Bloom's Taxonomy na Analyzing, Evaluating, and Synthesizing. Number 3, Skills. Ang skills ay isang kakayahan ng mga estudyante na nagagamit sa physical education games and activities. Ikaapat ng categories ay ang product kung saan ito na ang learning output and outcomes ng isang estudyante. The last category is yung effect. Ang effect ay nagpe-pertain sa attitude, interest, at values na minamanifest ng isang estudyante. At ang best method na ginagamit dito ay ang self-assessment. Thank you for listening.